Good YouTube, this is your boy Darren Murphy Igniter. Welcome to the first team builder for this league. I decided to do the team builders because I was told that um, the team builder was a bit too long. Uh, well, the explanation for my team was longer than the actual battle itself. So I figured, eh, why not do a team builder? Uh, let me know if you guys like this format. Um, I'm using the front rear cam the f the back camera to look so you guys can look at the mons and the my opponent's team is right in front of you his team is as follows Manaphy, Dragon Knight, Lucario, Keldeo, Runum Heat, Ninetales, Uxie, Muck, Alola, G Fortress, Golurk, Credilly. Notice against his team his only hazard removal is Rapid Spin Fortress. Because I know 100% he's not going to bring Defog and Dragon Knight. Because that means he's not multi-scale. And he's not going to be able to sweep me. So, with that in mind, I try go to go for a hazard stacking roll. Just try to hazard stack him as much as possible. I'll try to keep hazards off my field. Meaning, I have to go with my own rapid spin route. Now, my rapid spin users are not good, in my opinion. Sorry if you see the front facing camera moving around. I'm trying to keep it straight, but you know, ADHD is in the way. Um, but yeah, my rapid spinners are Cloyster and Hitmonlee. Nobody, I mean, nobody expects rapid spin Cloyster. I swear to you. Nobody expects it, which is good for me because I'm a creative guy. I love to, you know, use weird stuff, try to have fun with this a bit, especially since uh, the first two weeks I was here, well, one loss was from the person that I had to replace, and then another one was where I choked really bad and just lost. So, it, you see the screen? That's the, that's the, the your boy. Your boy Infernape. But that's not what we have. We have a, a team. So, yeah, keeping keeping the rapid spin in mind, I want to try to keep put hazards on his field while keeping away from mine without me defogging my hazards away. So, uh, we go with our lead. We've out here. Uh... It's the same set as last week, except with enough speed to outspeed Ninetales, since that's his fastest thing. I wanted to put Metal... I could have put Metal Claw. Now that I think about it, but... You know, it doesn't matter. Metal Claw would have worked, actually. Versus the Ninetales. If that was out. I had Knock Off, Ice Shard, Low Cake, Bolt, Beat Up... Beat up, so whatever lead he has will guarantee half because it does half to a defensive Rotom. And it ensures that it breaks the Cobra of Uxie if Uxie has it. And if he switches in Lucario, I could just I live a bullet punch and I could just low kick, hopefully knock it out. If not, I just use uh, my AI shard. Lock off to get rid of items, hoping to. You know, in case if he's um, over Veil Ninetales, um, I knock off its like clay or icy rock, um, or any item per se. I want to try to get rid of items, and also this helps me scout out if Manaphy has a Waterium Z for Z Rain Dance because his Z users are Manaphy and Dragonite. Um, I'm fearing more the Dragonite Z Crystal. Um, as Dragonite hits harder and can actually fly in EMZ my things and it's gonna die and can live any hit. Next mod, it's Cloyster. We're bringing defensive Cloyster again because why not? We're trying to hazard stack, we want to set up spikes. We're gonna rapid spin. Toxic is mainly to toxic the Uxie to put it damage. Um, Ice Beam mainly for the Dragonite and also to hit. Um, Golurk and Kray Dilly on the special side. 
um, um, we have toxic to whittle things down. Uh, we we are speedy cloister. We are Tim and Max speed, so we can outpace everything, uh, like his walls and just toxic them. We just use spikes, oh, again, spike stack them as much as possible, because we really want hazards up. We want hazards. Hazards are like the main important thing for this match. Because if he, if he doesn't bring his fortress. We, I had to stack him. All his things get whittled for my, uh, for for Weavile to either weaken them or my next Pokemon on the list, Talonflame. We're bringing the Flying EMZ because priority priority um Brave Bird is neat and turn one Flying EMZ um Flying EMZ actually does a lot of damage if not Oko Manaphy. Uh, it also helps me deal with Scarf Keldio if he brings that. And also Scarf uh, Lucario. This is mainly a late game cleaner. It cleans up late game. Since, uh, you know, Brave Bird. I want to I keep my Brave Bird in check. My Gale Wings intact. So I can just use priority Z moves. Because this is the only mod that gets priority Z moves. And that's my favorite part about this. We get priority Z moves. Flare Blitz, you know, for the Lucario. Uh, for the Cradilly. I'm mainly gonna run Brave Bird. Oh no, Flare Blitz is also for the Fortress. Maybe mind. We have Sword Stance here in case if we want to set up a uh, Fortress trying to vote switch out or anything trying to switch out. We can Sword Stance and Roost to try to go full health and sure we um, go and stay intact if they set up. Our next mod is Togetic, bringing Egg, the young Eggnog, Eevee Light. We are we're max defensive, more special defensive, mainly for the Keldeo because Keldeo cannot really touch me. HP Ice or Icy Wind does not do jack. And the only main issue for this Togetic is if they bring Steel Wolves, which I'm really not afraid of. We have Heal Bell, Thunder Wave, Roost, Flamethrower. Um, again, like I said, I don't want to defog my hazards away. I want to hazard stack him as much as possible. Flamethrower, um, with knowing my luck, if I run Fire Blast, I'm going to miss. And it's going to cost me the game. I use Flamethrower just for the Lucario and the Fortress. I was debating the whole time with this mod if I want Dazzling Gleam. Because Dazzling Gleam hits the Keldeo. Hits the Dragon Knight and hits a lot of things more. But at the end, I just chose Fairy Flower because I want to deal with the Lucario in case the Lucario wants to. Uh, because the only. Lucario's only physical move is Iron Tail and Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch will not knock me out, and Iron Tail, he's risky and miss. We have T Wave there in case, uh, we, you know, we want to T Wave things. His only electric type is Run of Heat and. Rather, he can switch into this, but we live in a hit, and we can just, like, yeah, we eat up, but we can't do anything back, so there's no point for me leaving in this. Um, now, and Roost, you know, to heal, we want to be more, as bulky as possible, and hopefully we, um, hopefully this thing puts into work. Our next up is Savali Ghost Stone Cold. I am in love with this monster. This has enough speed to outspeed uh, Lucario. Because that's like his second fastest thing. At, but, and we cannot outspeed Manaphy nor alone Ninetales. Which those two are his fastest mons. We outspeed everything like Lucario under. Since Lucario is like his second fastest thing. And we are base 95 overall. Where Savali goes because if he brings Fortress... We want to prevent those rocks from getting away. We want to um, take advantage, since he only has rapid spin as his hazard removal, to prevent our hazards from going away. We have Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. Bolt Beam is just fantastic coverage overall. Sorry, that's weak. Shadow Ball to hit the UXC, hit the Golurk, and hit everything for neutral damage, because his only resist is Muck. 
And I'm not expecting Monk all that much because Monk won't be doing anything until, unless it's for the token tick. But, uh, but if he goes into Monk, we can just punch parting shot and pursuit won't do much. Uh, Savali is just like our spin blocker for the team, so he doesn't get rid of our hazards. I, re I want to keep our hazards up because Hadra stacking his team is our, my main priority. Sorry if you hear anything in the background. That was my brother screaming. And then our last but not least, we have Dooley, the Ferrothorn, with especially with Ockberry, because I, basically my thought process, most of the thing. Er, Every special attacker in this team is going to be running, like, HP fire. Since, you know, that's Ferrothorn's, like, one weakness, fire. We live a sacred sword from, secret sword from Keldeo. Uh, the main issue is if he has special Lucario, that's going to be a problem for my team. We have Stealth Rock, Leech Seed, Gyro Ball, Knockoff. Knockoff to knockoff items, of course. Gyro Ball, in case he goes Dragon Knight. And we can, and he sets up. We can just gyro ball, and yeah, stop. Um, we leech see. We can leech see everything but the green dilly, and I'm not expecting the green dilly, especially since I have a weavile for that. Uh, we have stealth rock, as I keep saying multiple, multiple times. We need to hazard stack this guy, or, and we have to keep trying to keep him away from hazards because his team. Even though it's not weak to hazards, he doesn't appreciate hazards on his team. Uh, enough speed death to eat like at least one overheat from Rotom from Max Attack Modest, and so we can get rid of his item. Or if he tries to Volt Switch, we can just knock anything off. Because he might think I want to preserve this uh, doodly. Uh, we yeah, sassy nature. Because we want our speed to be like the lowest speed possible for Gyro Ball to do like at least some damage. And yeah, that's the team. Um, let me know. Uh, I hope it works. I hope not running Flamethrower on my Togetic. I, I hope not running Destiny Gleam on Togetic is not, d does not bite me in the ass. And hopefully I keep my hazards up. Cause I want to keep my hazards up as much as possible. As I said, nobody, as I keep saying, I'm sorry if I'm repetitive as fuck, but nobody runs the rapid spin cloister. Nobody expect that. Keep that in mind. With me, I'm special. I'm defensive biased. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy this format of showcasing team building. Um, since I love to go in depth on my team building, I love to go in depth on my team building. So I I made a team builder in case you know I wanna I wanna express what what I'm feeling in coming to my team. Since my team, honestly, this week I'm not feeling as confident in my team as I wanted to be, but um. You know, it is what it is. I, I'm i still debating right now if I want to change uh, Dance of Gleam to Flamethrower. It hurts me inside that I want to change it. So Dance of Gleam just stab and does more, but Flamethrower... Mm, might change it last minute. We'll see. If you guys did enjoy this team builder, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you to subscribe to Isolate. He's a great guy. Amazing, amazing YouTuber. And make sure you go support him as well and su support your boy the most. Hope and hopefully by the end of this year we reach one hundred subscribers. And hope to see you in the game.